Yeah, a lot less activity here to talk about in the form of rain. We're not seeing any in town, but Don's early light is silhouetting some offshore cumulus clouds. It's 76 with a southeast wind at three miles per hour, and you see absent from the radar other than some clutter is the rain. We're not seeing any rain over any parts of the area. There may be a few little sprinkles along the coastline, uh, but other than that, it's way quieter than it was yesterday. Had some shower activity out in West Texas yesterday and overnight that has now finished up and overall Texas is pretty quiet. Reason our rain chance will drop off today has to do with that little weak upper atmosphere, low pressure system. There it is yesterday and you'll see it just ease up the Texas Gulf Coast overnight. Uh, so our lifting mechanism is gone, which is why the rain chances should and will be lower for today. Lorenzo, a category one hurricane out in the Atlantic. It's going to be a major hurricane, but stay in the middle of the Atlantic. It's not a threat for anyone other than boating uh, activity out there, you know, shipping channels, stuff like that. Karen still on the board, but this is a stubborn storm. Uh, it's now north of Puerto Rico, 45 mile per hour winds. Check out the future of Karen, though. The Hurricane Center with the forecast cone like this is basically saying this has got extremely low confidence. It looks more like a, a comment bubble rather than a forecast cone. So still, it's possible that it escapes into the Atlantic. It's possible that it drifts to the west, and it's also possible that it just falls apart in the southwest Atlantic. And you'll note here that the Hurricane Center has this at tropical storm strength through the weekend. At this point, though, I wouldn't say it's a threat for us locally. Our weather is going to be more so influenced by this group of unorganized thunderstorms just north of the Yucatan. The Hurricane Center saying 10 to 20 percent chance it develops before it moves inland this weekend uh, as a, you know, likely just a tropical wave. I don't think we see that develop, but there is a small chance for that. What this will do for us is throw in a slug of tropical moisture for the weekend. You see those reds and oranges getting into the moist category and with that moisture in place, we'll see more isolated to scattered showers and that's going to be represented here on our future cast simulated radar uh, on Saturday and that should be the case on Sunday as well. So midweek looks fairly quiet, just some stray shower activity along the sea breeze front today, tomorrow, and then we trend those rain chances up into the weekend. Now this is what everyone wants to know about. I don't talk about it until I see data supported evidence for maybe the first cold front. So we're going to take you through long range here with the upper atmosphere winds. This is into the first of October. Big ridge of high pressure. It's going to be hot into October here. There's no doubt about that. And watch what happens though. We're looking for a trough to come into the central or eastern part of the country. Something like this for a cold front to get here. October 4, this is the European upper levels show the trough in the Great Lakes and at the surface could be nine days away for our first front. Still not you know, sure on how strong it would possibly be, but the GFS is also showing and indicating something coming in around the third or fourth of October. We'll definitely keep our eyes on it. Model accuracy though that far out tends to be poor though, reasonable to poor over a week out. So again, it's data supported, but I wouldn't hold my breath just yet on the arrival of that front. We'll keep you updated uh, here on first edition. Just a stray sea breeze shower today, highs in the 90s. Tomorrow, similar, a mix of sun and clouds with only stray sea breeze activity out there. 93 today, mainly sunny, hot and humid, more like the middle of summer than early fall here today and tonight both going to be humid and kind of warm 76 overnight. We'll stay in the low 90s through the rest of the work week. There's that rain chance for the weekend and it wouldn't be until next Friday if that front can make it down here uh, that we'd see our first front of the season again. Not a surefire bet at all, but at least data hinting at it at this point, Brian.